Right, so we're going to make a very low friction bearing set, and of course we're going to make it from my favourite material, this stuff, which is UPVC covered foam board. You can buy it in England from Builder Supplies, in the US it's called Sintra Board. I love it because it's so easy to work with. Anyway, first things first, we need to make a cradle, so let's cut some bits of this up. You don't need to be particularly exact, and obviously you can make it from whatever material takes your fancy. I just like this stuff because it's so quick and easy, it makes a good strong model, and we glue up our cradle. So your frame should look something similar to that. Of course you can make it out of wood if you like, I just tend to use this. Now we need four magnets, and we glue the four magnets on here and here and here and here, so that the roughly the same distance from the centre and roughly at the same height on these two sections. The important thing to remember is that your magnets all need to point in the same direction. So if that's the North Pole, all the Norths need to point that way and all the Souths need to point that way. It doesn't matter, North, South, as long as they all point in the same direction. And all you really do with them is glue them on. Okay, and that's what they look like with the magnets in place. So you can see the magnets there and there. Now these are 12 and a half centimetres between centre and centre. And what we need to do is arrange another couple of magnets with the poles pointing, pointing in the same direction. So we get some other magnets and pop them there. And what will happen is it will force itself that way, but float on the field in those two magnets. So they need to be 12 and a half centimetres apart because this is 12 and a half centimetres apart. If you put it nearer, it needs to be the same centre to centre. You need some way of arranging that. Now, I'm going to use copper pipe because I've got it. It's a little heavy, maybe you should use plastic or something lighter, but these magnets are strong enough to take that. And all I've done is pop a couple of magnets into a copper pipe fitting, and then if I press them down, pop them onto my fitting, And there's another identical one with two magnets in there. And remember, these magnets have got the norths pointing that way, just like these. So these are all north, 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 north. And then if I pop that on there, there we go, it will magically float. Now it is pushing in that direction. So what I need is something to stop it pushing in that direction. And what's ideal is a ballpoint pen. An old ballpoint pen is ideal because there's a ball in there which can act as a point um, bearing of very low friction. So I need to put that there, chop that ballpoint pen off and stick it down this hole. Okay, so I've chopped the pen off to the right size and all I'm going to do now is wrap it with tape until it fits in that bit of pipe. And the size is just to make sure that it's actually pushing in that direction. When you've done that, you'll end up with something like this. And if we pop that in place, there we go. Now, there's only one more thing you need to do. That ball, obviously, was going to dig in over time into this plastic. So if you stick a bit of glass in there, or a bit of tile, or something like that, then you'll have a hard-wearing surface. Just to demonstrate this, I've stuck a tiny, tiny pro propeller on a bit of cork, and we'll wrap the cork in the bottom there. There we go. Now, this should spin for absolutely ages with just me blowing on the propeller. <laughs> I think that's truly astounding, actually. But anyway, how to build a very low friction bearing for lots of projects. If you want to do some uh, research on very sensitive motors, for instance, this is a great way of doing it, that kind of thing. But I thought I would share it with you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Oh, uh, and please remember to like and subscribe. Sorry, it's kind of hypnotic. Another thing I should add as well, this is actually made out of copper, remember? So that's uh, copper rotating in magnets. The chances are that's generating. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs>